up from 19 to 25 percent. Is that going to harm your business? I mean, all taxation harms business uh, in the short term. But to make a valid, to make a very valid point, I've never minded paying tax on my profits. I don't mind paying higher tax on corporation tax because it means that that money has already been banked and I've made money on that. So then that's fair enough that I can pay tax on that. What I do mind and what businesses really need is that lower taxes coming through the door before you even start. So business rates, for example, national insurance and VAT. I mean, VAT was typically always 17.5%, and I think even 15% was fair for everybody. That jump up to 20% is the one that really kills you because that stops you from even getting to profit. Let, the gov- let us get to profit first, and then we can share our, the fruits of our labour with the government. There we have Julian Jessup, James Chiaviorani, describing in specific terms his business, what nerdy economists like you and I might call the Laffer curve. The idea, named, of course, after the famous American economist Arthur Laffer, the idea that if you raise tax rates, you can actually end up with less tax revenue because you kill off some of the activity. Surely, if the Laffer curve applies when businesses are trying to recover from lockdown, not least in the hospitality sector, it seems to me ridiculous to whack them with extra corporation tax. Could the Laffer curve work in practice? Well, if the Laffer curve is ever going to work, it's surely now when, you know, we're one of the few countries to be raising taxes in the midst of a a global economic crisis, a cost of living crisis. And um, it does significantly increase the the risk that the UK economy is tipped into recession. So so even if, you know, tax cuts cost tax cuts cost a bit of money to the Treasury in the short term. I still say it was worth doing um, as sort of insurance policy about preventing a, a steep recession, which would be far more damaging to the economy and the public finances in the in the longer term. So um, I would err on the side of being bolder, as I think Liz Truss is suggesting, and you know, being willing to do more to support the economy, to, to help with the cost of living. Uh, and also, of course, to, to use ca- tax cuts in ways that actually boost the supply side of the economy and actually in the process of doing so would actually reduce inflation rather than increase it. The three of our panellists today, Jasmine Ewing,